guys let's look at this problem right here this question is asking two harmonic light waves with amplitudes of 1.6 and 2.8 interfere at some point p on the screen what visibility results there if their electric field vectors are parallel and if they are perpendicular now let's look at the case electric field vectors are parallel okay but before we do that we have to calculate the intensity that can be calculated using this one amplitude square okay i is equal to a square in our case the first amplitude is let's call this one i1 1.6 square and that's going to be equivalent to 2.56 okay and i2 is going to be equivalent to 2.8 square and that's going to be equivalent to 7.84 okay now here the question is asking for the visibility now to calculate visibility we use this equation visibility is equivalent to i max minus i min divided by i max plus i min okay now in order to calculate i max and i min we need the angle okay the, for the first case they are saying electric field vectors are parallel when the vectors are parallel the angle between them is going to be zero so that's the first one we can say this delta is equal to zero degree for the first case now for the second case they are saying if they are perpendicular if they are perpendicular the angle between them is going to be 90 degree okay so these are the two cases and to calculate i max here we need i max i min okay to calculate i max we use this equation i max is equal to i1 plus i2 plus 2 square root of i1 i2 cos cos delta okay and the delta is going to be 0 degree and we know that cos 0 is equal to 1 so this is going to be just 2 i1 i2 okay now let's go ahead and plug the values first we have i1 we calculated that is 2.56 and i2 is 7.84 plus 2 square root of 2.56 times 7.84 and that's going to give us 19.36 watts per meter square okay this is i max to calculate i mean it's same equation but here we will have negative we subtract this 2 i1 i2 okay so this is going to be i1 i1 plus i2 minus 2 square root of i1 i2 cos delta in our case delta is 0 degree so this is going to be 2 i1 i2 and if you plug the values this is going to be 2.56 plus 7.84 minus 2 square root of i1 is going to be 2.56 i2 is equal to 7.84 and that's going to give us 1.44 watts per meter square now from this one we can calculate the visibility therefore visibility is going to be equivalent to i max minus i min divided by i max plus i min okay okay i i have to calculate this one let me calculate this one okay, let me plug the values i max minus i min that's going to be 19.36 minus 1.44 divided by 19.36 plus 1.44 and that gives us once again 19.36 minus 1.44 divided by 19.36 plus 1.44 and that gives us 0 0.86 so for this one the visibility is 0 0.86 okay now let's look at the second one for the second one they are parallel so the angle is 90 degree now for this one the i max let's choose a different color i max is going to be again same equation i1 plus i2 plus 2 square root of i1 i2 cos delta but cos 0 degree is going to be 0 right so if this is 0 then actually cos 90 degree is going to be 0 so if this is 0 this whole thing will become 0 okay so this is going to be just i1 plus i2 i1 plus i2 and that's going to be 2.56 plus 7.84 and that's going to give us 10.4 watts per meter square okay so this is what we get for this one and i mean we subtract this one 
I mean it's going to be I1 plus I2 minus 2 square root of I1 I2 cos delta again this is going to be 0 because cos 90 is 0 so this is also 0 so this is also going to be I1 plus I2 that same value that's going to be just 10.4 watts per meter square from this one you can already see when we subtract in the numerator the visibility is going to become 0 right visibility is going to be I max minus I min divided by I max plus I min so in the top part we have equal like I max is 10.4 and I min also 10.4 so we will get 0 in the numerator so that's going to make the whole thing 0 so visibility is 0 when the vectors are perpendicular to each other and that's how we do this kind of problems I hope this helps thanks for watching